Hello, I'm Ipo Swords, and I'm an antique sword collector to current era. Today I'm going to be talking about some armor choices in the Netflix Witcher adaptation and why they make no sense either in universe or from a historical perspective. The obvious elephant in the room is the so called ball sack armor that the Nilf Guardians wear, which looks like a plasticized burlap sack covered in lots of little folds. Now, not only would this catch a weapon, if it were to hit it, increasing the force transfer to the wearer, it also doesn't make sense from a material conservation standpoint. And considering that the less steel you use, the less armour weighs, and in this case, the more protection it offers because weapons wouldn't hang up on it, spear thrusts would be harder to aim because they'd glance off curved surfaces, it makes less than no sense. I understand that it's a stylistic decision on the showmaker's behalf, but that doesn't mean it's a good decision, because it doesn't look good either. It might be distinctive, but it's absolutely horrendous. But my bigger issue with the Netflix adaptation has nothing to do with the design of the armour, but rather with the behaviour of the armour of the Sintran army. You see, one of them is hit in the head with an axe, while wearing a helmet. If this helmet was steel, it would have dented, he would have been knocked out, and someone could have delivered a killing blow on him. Instead, it split in two like it was made of tissue paper. This doesn't make sense. If your armour offers no protection, why even wear it? You may as well go into battle in civilian clothing. All it does is weigh you down. The whole concept behind armour is that it increases survivability. It prevents you being killed by an axe blow to the head. Why would you make this scene, which could have been so much better if the armor was dented and then a blow delivered which killed him, into something that looks like it's out of a D-grade budget movie? Netflix can do a lot better than this. All they have to do is think a little. Armor is supposed to be protective. Sure, they may be trying to convey the, the strength of Nilfgaard, but even then, it just it doesn't make sense. Portray them as skillful or strong, but armor has to serve a purpose, otherwise it's pointless. It's not like they're using some sort of super weapons, it's not like their soldiers are super soldiers. They are simply extremely savage and take no prisoners. I understand that it has a narrative benefit to exaggerate this for cinematic effect. But as someone into historical arms and armor, it just looks dumb. Regardless, episode 1 was still excellent, and I'd recommend the show to anyone who's into the Witcher fandom, who's played the games, read the books, or simply enjoys high fantasy elements with a dark underlying theme, which is how I would summarise episode 1. This has been Ipo Swords, until next time, stay sharp.